everyone. My name is Taiwo Aino. I'm a care worker here in the UK. Uh, I welcome you all to my channel. Uh, I'm going to share with you how I got a care assistant job here in the UK from Nigeria within five months. I did a care certificate course in a care home. It was organized by a care home. Uh, the care certificates comprises of a 15 care standard for care certification. That's what it's called here in the UK. Yeah, so the care certificate course that I did, and then as uh, another course that I also did was um, health and social care level three. The payment, even though the payment was much, yes, because I know some will be asking, uh, where did you do it? How much is it? How much? How much? But I have another alternative that is also the care certificate. Oh, don't worry. Just make sure you watch this video to an end and don't skip. I've got a lot of things for you because I know a lot of people have been applying, 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 and they were not, there were no positive response and i've known a lot of people that have contacted me ever since i've been in the uk the how how did i go about it i've i was able to explain to those people and someone even got um an offer is already the person is already in the uk now so there are some other people that i couldn't even explain to like you people but here i'll be able to explain to you don't worry she will get that job you will get it don't worry so i got this i did a course and in, in lagos so we were like i think we we're like 20 or so so the impression we were given when we did the course was that after we finished the course they're going to contact the employers in UK so that they can give us in case they want they have any job for us that we've already um, trained some people in Nigeria they know about everything about health care assistants in UK and in case they just contacted they will contact a lot of employers in UK that was what they told that was what we were told so we did I did a course healthcare assist, uh, health and social care level three is a superior is like it's the standard of health and social care level three is is a superior one to care assistance care assistance is a basic care for um a care assist a care assistant here i mean care certificate sorry is a basic for every care assistant that's a cause like a compulsory course for every care assistant even if you are here in the uk you have to do it so we did the course and everything. So when we did the course, the I health aspects of it because they discussed an employer that was ready to employ us. But we need to provide our hires. Hmm. My people, that's another story because I didn't have my passport because I didn't even have the mind of. Um, you want to come to UK or anything I just did the course and when we were told that okay um, uh, we're going they're going to introduce us to some employers here in the UK and all that so I was like okay so I started planning for my I started um, uh, by processing my passport I did my passport I processed my passport but <laughs> is it fortunately or unfortunately I don't know which one to call it the passport refused to be held. The passport refused to be held. So I had to contact a lot of people that were in charge of the passports, all to no avail. Learn something. It's not until something, uh, the process is in that you should start planning. I would advise you to start planning as early as possible. If you've not gotten your international passport, please don't be like me. Go and get it. Go and get your international passport, please. Don't be like me. You know, I lost that opportunity. That's a bitter truth. I lost that opportunity and I would not want that to happen to you. I lost that opportunity. If not for grace that gave me, at least I had another four interviews. Two were successful before 
I came here to, to UK. I'm going to share with you, don't worry, how I got all those interview and I passed. I'll share with you because at every point, another thing that I want to tell you is if there's any question, maybe you have any question, please put in the comment section. I'm going to attend to, I'm going to answer every of your questions because I may not be able to tell you this while I'm telling you the whole story. So all those that have gotten the passport, they already had their passports and hires because I can't register for hires without my passport. That was the reason. They requested for IELT here. Some people call it IELT here. I always call it hires. So because I couldn't provide my hires, I, did, I couldn't write my hires without my passport. So <sighs> I wasn't qualified for the offer. So those that were qualified they already had their hires they got an offer so after i d later i got my passport i did my hires i contacted these people hmm. they said there was nothing they can do they've already had those people uh, enough number that they really want to employ no problem but I tell you even before my passport was out I have been applying hmm. you don't need to even if you've not done your passport still apply start applying that does not stop you from applying you know start applying even if you've not done your hires start applying that does not stop you from applying start applying your hires you if you have the money you know hayat is expensive here maybe in my home own country hayat is expensive so and this job some people will be thinking ah, i'm not even sure if i will get a job how am i going to spend a whole lot of money on hayat but you can do something even if you don't want to risk your well you want to do hayat you don't you're not but just be positive i tell you i myself when i lost that opportunity i i was still positive that i would get another job I was positive that I would get another job. So I had to just double my efforts and start applying, as in start applying. So just keep applying. Don't be don't relent at all. All this unfortunately, unfortunately, don't worry, it's going to be congratulations very soon. Yes, and you will share it with me, and I will tell you, yes, I told you. So don't give up at all. Honestly, don't give up. So I started applying actively. But remember, I've been applying even before my passports and hires. So the hires aspect of it, even if you don't want to do the hire, just keep applying. If an employer comes, if you have a BSc, I mean a degree, you can do this um, UK NARIC or HECTIS. It is called NARIC or HECTIS. So you can do it. Yeah, you can do that one. It's also equivalent to hires. You can use it for your visa and everything. So you can do that. So if you want to do health, fine. But if you don't have the money at the moment, we all know how everything is. If you don't want to do it due to the cost and everything, you can just hold on. When you get an offer, then you can go for exit. That is if you have a BSc. If you have a BSc, you can do it. Then another thing is if you're going to do your health, please make it make sure it is i health ukvi not ordinary high health please not this normal i health i health general if you want to do general if you want to do academic but make sure it is ukvi ukvi please so i started applying to different sites i will mention some some sites to you that i apply to there's some i will just just submit my cv i submitted at homecare.co.uk i submitted my cv at carehome.co.uk there's difference between the two i submitted my cv on indeed so submitted my cv at glassdoor glassdoor i i just kept on applying anywhere i see then I made a mistake that I don't want you to make as well. That really, in fact, maybe I would have gotten an uh, an offer earlier. See, if you're applying for a healthcare assistant, make sure the salary that will make you qualify you for a visa 
as a healthcare assistant. So if you, you are applying to a, a, a job below that salary, even the, that means the employer, they are not even ready to sponsor. And how you got to know that employer wants to sponsor is when you go to the government site to check on the uh, sponsorship list. That is when you will know uh, the company that, that is eligible to sponsor. I made that mistake. I was just applying to every, every any uh, care um, um, site like this. I just kept on applying, applying, applying. I didn't check if they were they 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 can sponsor or not. You need to check before you apply. Don't stress you. Don't waste your energy on uh, just applying i decided we should apply let's just keep applying no make sure where you are applying to before you apply quickly search i'm going to put it on the screen the uh, uh, the uh, the link for that i'm going to put it on the screen for you to see make sure you search to be sure and spell when you're spelling the uh, name of the company make sure you spell it correctly at least you'll be able to get it spell it correctly once you, we will even see the dates they got they have their they got their license and everything so that once you see that they can sponsor then you can apply to them but if their name is not there don't bother don't just don't just stress yourself applying to them just try and use that energy for other ones because that's most of the times you have a lot of places to apply to and if those that cannot sponsor they are the ones that is taking your time no please yeah and another thing that i need to tell you is see applying it takes you to be strong it's it takes you being strong because most of the time there are times i may send like 60 applications in a week and if i, I won't see any reply there won't be any response or anything and even if I will get any reply at all, it will be, uh, unfortunately, you are this, you are that. That time, I, I, I just, I just told myself, I will get this job. That is what I want you to do. That is what I do tell myself. That is what I want you to tell yourself as well. It doesn't matter what, who, whoever it is that is, uh, they've gotten this offer, they've gotten that offer. Tell yourself that you will get it. So I started, I've told you the site that I apply to I to I've told you then if you have any question at all please write it in the comment section I will, I will attend to your questions as soon as possible yes and also I started applying to different companies just keep applying there are times at least after the four interview that I had I could remember vividly when I when I applied to two but the remaining two I can't remember when I applied. Maybe it's, it is those um, sites that I dropped my CV that they got to see my CV or whatever it is. I can't say. I tell you, I can't remember when I applied to them. I just kept on applying. So the fact that you're applying, applying, you've not gotten response doesn't mean you're not going to get response. Just keep applying. And experience as well is very important. You can get a health center, health care center, or one hospital, or any care home. You just tell them it's like a voluntary uh, thing that you want to do. Then you just do your, uh, the, uh, you can just tell them maybe one hour in a day or two, three hours in a week. You can go weekend if you're eight to four. You can just go during weekend and spend like two hours just to have the experience. You can just tell them at least they're not paying you salary, uh, salary or anything. You're just like you're just volunteering just to have the experience. So you will include it in your CV. It will really help. They, in fact, they need it. You need to have experience. After I applied all the application, I I, I got uh, an invitation for an interview. The first interview was pure scenario. It was scenario that I myself was like, it was two people that did interview. I think it lasted for like 45 minutes. You can imagine scenario question, 45 minutes. <laughs> but to the glory of God, I passed the interview. After that, I got another interview. <laughs> that one too, I made mistake. Oh, and I won't want you to make that mistake in the interview. I will share that one because I don't want this video to be too long. I will share that one in 
in another video about the interview, the mistakes to avoid while preparing for interview. While I was having the second interview, that was when the call of the third, another company that invited me for interview, that was when their call came in. If I didn't even see it because what happened, what happened for, with the second interview, it was something else, even though it was all my fault. Later, I just contacted those people back and I called them and they were like, oh, we've, we've called. I said, yes, I saw your missed call. Prepare for an interview. I was like, wow, again. Hey, oh my goodness. I prepared for the interview. In fact, I did the interview. Let's say I did the interview today. The following day, I got an offer. <laughs> yes, that's the way you two, you'll be smiling when you get your own offer. So, don't worry. Just calm down. You will get an offer. You will get your COS. Don't worry. Hmm. The following day, I got an offer, documentation, everything. If Another lesson that I need you to learn is, even if you've gotten an offer, hmm, that still does not guarantee that you're coming to UK because that is not a certificate of sponsorship. You know how I know? I watched a video like you're watching me now that the lady said she got an offer. She was waiting for certificates of sponsorship from those people that gave her an offer, from the company that gave her an offer. So when she was waiting, while she was waiting, in fact, she waited for so long, she didn't hear anything from them. So she had to talk to herself that she should just start applying again. So she started applying. That was when she got another offer. So you can see that it is not over until it is over. The fact that you got an offer does not mean you've gotten everything. No. If the COS, you don't have the COS with you like this, don't relent, please. After I got an offer and every documentation, I still got an interview, invitation for another interview. In fact, I was firstly thinking, could you die? But I just said, yes, yeah, since I've not been given the certificate of sponsorship, let me just go, um, attend this interview. I did the interview and everything. Hmm. We do not believe that the first interview that I did, they said I was successful. The second one, uh, the third one, the second one, you know, I told you that I made mistake. I, I'm going to do a video about the mistake that I made because I won't want someone to, to make that mistake because I, I had another chance. At least I had four interviews. But some people may just have one chance for interview and they must not make that mistake. So the second, uh, the third one that I did, I also got, they said it was successful. It was successful. So I don't know which one to do. I just, in fact, I had to stick to the third one that I had the interview because I already fall in love with the company. Honestly, I have already fallen in love with the company because it, it's a big company. So that was how I got an offer. In any way I can assist in terms of giving advice or anything, I'm going to give. Hmm? Don't worry. You're also coming. So that was how I was able to get it within five months. Please like this video, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification button. Thank you.